if you talk to enough songwriters, eventually the conversation comes round to the mountain of half-finished material sitting in their notebooks or spilling out of folders on their laptop. And in fact, this idea has become so common among songwriters, it feels as if we just accept it as part of the process. And you may be thinking, well, what's the harm in having a bunch of half-finished songs lying around? But in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the four reasons you must finish your songs. Before we dive in, if you're interested in joining a community of songwriters, getting access to exclusive content, workshops, live Q&A sessions, please check out our Patreon page. Link is in the show notes. Okay, reason number one that you must finish your songs. You don't know if they're any good. We talked about this concept recently in another video where we discussed John Legend and his relationship with his songwriting process. And in particular, we focused on an interview he gave as part of the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable series. In that interview, he was asked the question, when you write a song, do you have any sense if it's going to be a hit or not? And his answer was, I'm in love with all of my songs right when I finish them. That's my problem. I need some distance. And he was referring to the song All of Me, which was part of a batch of new songs that he was presenting to people to get feedback. And the thing that really surprised him was that when he presented All of Me with these other songs, everybody gravitated towards All of Me. It was obvious to them that that was the standout. But to him, as the creator of all of these songs, it wasn't obvious. He couldn't see that it was the standout. He couldn't see that it was special. And what this highlights is that we, as the creators of our own songs, don't have any perspective. We don't have the distance required to judge them appropriately. And this is particularly relevant when we're halfway through a new song, because at that halfway mark, we often get stuck in what's called the swamp of despair. And we're often wondering ourselves at this moment, should I even bother finishing this song? Is it really any good? Is it worth finishing? And the answer should be yes. We need to finish it to find out if it is any good, if it is going to resonate, knowing that we're not in a position to judge, but if we finish it, we get the opportunity to show it to people, to get their feedback, to get their perspective. And hopefully, if we do this often enough, we develop some really strong habits around pushing through that difficult midsection of a song and learning how to finish well. Which brings us to reason number two, you need to learn how to finish. Neil Gaiman, the best-selling author of books such as Coraline, American Gods, and Good Omens, talks about being a young writer, turning 20, and making this decision to start finishing more of his stories. And the thing he noticed was his improvement was drastic. Quantum, as he describes it. You learn more from finishing a failure than you do from writing a success. And you definitely learn more from finishing a failure than from beginning something that is fantastic, but stops. And if we think about this concept, there's a whole range of skills and techniques that we need to develop that are specific to finishing. If we think about the idea of performing a song, how we begin that song is important, but how we finish it is arguably more important. It's the last impression we leave with our audience. And if we take a sporting analogy, think about an athlete who only knows how to start a race well, but hasn't really learned how to finish it. And every time we instead choose to start something new, we strengthen our ability to keep starting things, but we weaken our ability to finish them. And part of the challenge here is accepting that starting a new idea feels great. It feels energizing. It feels exciting. Finishing an idea takes hard work. And as the French essayist Joseph Joubert said, genius begins great works. Labor alone finishes them. So finishing is a habit and you strengthen that habit like a muscle. And we have to give ourselves the opportunity to repeatedly strengthen that muscle by learning how to finish our songs. Reason number three, you need to move on. Quite simply, your old material is taking up room in your head. It's taking up time, it's taking up energy, and sometimes we can go back to that old material and develop a new relationship with it. But so often, that old material is like a lazy roommate. Troublesome, taking up space, not paying rent, wanting your attention, coming and going when they like, distracting you from your important work. And so we need to ask those old tenants to leave so we can make space for the new ones. The other important thing to remember is that every time we write a song, we're doing so deliberately to improve our craft. And when we see the continual improvement of our craft as the objective, then each individual song is a stepping stone. And I love the way David Bales and Ted Orland talk about this in their book, Art and Fear. 
The function of the overwhelming majority of your artwork is simply to teach you how to make the small fraction of your artwork that soars. And so rather than getting bogged down on any one song, we need to remember that we're writing material so that we can get better at writing more material. And so we need to move on from the songs that we're stuck on so we can clear time and space for the songs we haven't yet written, the songs that will hopefully be our best work. And whilst the idea of going back to that folder of half-finished songs is appealing, so often it results in more disappointment when we can't find a way to reignite the initial passion we had for the idea. And this brings us to reason number four, it's hard to go back. Bob Dylan said, the saddest thing about songwriting is trying to reconnect with an idea. And we know from experience that the songwriting process is often one of feeling inspired in the moment. And so that moment is full of potential. It's full of expectation. It's full of energy. And our job is to try and convert that expectation and that energy into a complete idea. But when we leave a song alone for a little while and come back to it, we often experience this feeling of disconnect. The circumstances have changed. We've changed. The thing we wanted to say initially now doesn't feel so relevant. It doesn't feel so important. And so we struggle to reconnect with our initial inspiration. So there's a strong case to be made for staying in the moment as long as we can, doing whatever it takes to get the essence of the idea down knowing that you can always come back later, change some lines, substitute words in and out. As long as you've done your best to capture the emotion and the central theme of the idea in its entirety. So there's four reasons why you must finish your songs. And the painful truth is, it's much more exciting to start a new idea than to finish one that you're struggling with. But hopefully you can see that the benefits of learning how to finish your songs far outweigh the challenges. Happy songwriting. See you soon.